So at this point you guys know how to plus, minus, times and divide with decimals. But we should never remember, forget, <laughs> I nearly said we should never remember, we should, nearly, uh, we should never forget bod mass. So some students are going to say 8,45 minus 2,3. That is incorrect. Why? Because bod mass says that multiplication should come first. So let's do that sum first. Now you need to remember the different techniques that we know. So we should know that when you're multiplying decimals, it doesn't matter if the decimals are on top of each other or not. In fact, you can ignore the decimals completely. And so 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Then remember the 0. Now we say 3 times 3, which is 9. And then 2 times 3 is 6. We then add these together. So that's 2, that's 18 and that's 7. We now look at the number of decimal places which is 1 and 2. So we move our comma place 2 places from the back so it's 1 and 2. So the answer is 7 comma 8 2. So now what we have is 8 comma 4 5 minus 7 comma 8 2 and so when we are minusing the comma places must be on top of each other. That is important. 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus 8 you can't, so you borrow, this becomes a 7, this becomes a 1. So now this becomes 14, not 5. So 14 minus 8 is 6. Then wherever you see the comma, you must put the comma, and then 7 minus 7 is 0. And so the answer for this entire sum is 0, 6, 3. So here's another one. So remember, bod mass tells us that divide would come before the plus. So let's do that as a side calculation. 15, 135 divided by 0, 05. Now remember with decimals, you never want to have a decimal on the outside, and so we need to move this twice, 1 and 2. Then you do the same to the inside, 1 and 2. So the number on the outside just becomes, I mean technically it becomes 0, 0, 005 with a comma, but that is the same as just having 5. And then on the inside over here, we end up with 15, oh no, 1513, 5. Now we start. 5 can go into 1, it can't, so we just put a little dot. 5 can go into 15 three times. 5 can go into 1, it can't, but now we don't put a dot because what's that, that number is going to look weird. 3 dot. So now because it can't fit in, we're going to say 0. And then there's one left over, over here. So now 5 can go into 13 twice. And there's 3 left over. But notice I've just jumped over a comma, so I must put the comma there. And then 5 can fit into 35 seven times. So the dot in the front, we just ignore that. And so the answer there is 302, 7. So what we now have is that. Now we're going to add those together. Doesn't matter which one you start with because you're adding. So if we go 19, 42, then the commas must be on top of each other when you plus. And so that's going to be 302, 7. Now you just fill in zeros if there's any blank spaces there and there. Now we add. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 7 is 11. Put the comma there. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. 1 plus 1 is 2, 0 plus 3 is 3. And so the answer is 322, 12. Here's another one, 2,55 plus 0, 0,4 times 9. So bod mass says that this must come first. So we're going to say 0, 0,4 multiplied by 9. Remember that the decimals don't matter when you are multiplying. So 4 times 9 is 36. Z Notice there's a decimal, but I don't put the decimal down. Remember, that's not how it works with multiplication. Ah, oh, Kevin, all these things I've got to remember. <laughs> I know, guys. So 0 times 9 is 0, plus 3 is 36, and that's it. Now what we do is we look at the number of decimals. So there was only one decimal for the 4, and so we just move it one place back. And so that answer is 3, 6. So now what we have is 2, 5, 5 plus 3, 6. So when you're plussing, the decimals must be on top of each other, and then you just fill in your number like that. So now there's an empty space here, so you put a 0. And so 5 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 6 is 1. Notice there's a decimal, so I must put the decimal down. 
1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. And so the answer is 6.15. Okay, so here's another one. So remember, bod mass tells us that divide must come first. So 15,05 divided by 0, 0,7. Now, if you know your decimals really well, by now you'd realize that this number is not allowed to have a comma. So you move it up by 1, and so you have to do the same with this one. And so that's going to give you 7 and the number 150,5. 7 can fit into 1, it can't, so you just put a dot. 7 can fit into 15 twice, and then there's 1 left over. 7 can fit into 10 once, and then there's 3 left over. Whoops, I just jumped over a comma, so I must put the comma there. And then 7 can fit into 35 five times. So that number is 21,5. Please don't ever think that this little dot here is at the bottom. What I actually mean is it's, it's next to the 2. It's just a placeholder. It's just there to tell us that the number 7 could not fit into 1. It's not a decimal. So that answer is 21,5. So now what we have is 4,5 minus 2,3 plus 21,5. So when you only have plus and minus, remember you must move from left to right. So 4,5 minus 2,3, let's do that first. Remember, when you're plussing and minusing, the decimals are very important. They must be under each other. 5 minus 3 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. So that's 2, comma 2. So then what we have is 2, comma 2 plus 21, comma 5. The decimals must be on top of each other. If there's any empty spaces, you just put a 0. And so we're adding. So 2 plus 5 is 7. 2 plus 1 is 3. Oh, there's a decimal, so I must put a decimal there. 0 plus 2 is 2. And so this entire answer is 23.7.